This is probably going to be more myth than story. Probably. But as stories go, it's a belter. The story of Finn McCool, I think, first pops up in a book of poems called The Fenian Cycle, which sounds like a precursor to the Giro d'Italia. <laughs> in your head, I want you to picture Belladonna, who I'm going to bring up, as having the face of Diego Maradona. <laughs> the moral of this story is size matters, look. Uh, no, the other moral of this is... Get your wife to sort it out. <laughs> if, if if you get yourself in this situation you can't get out of, go to your wife and go, uh, help. Chloe, <laughs> I've, uh, I've told it again. How can we be lovers if we can't be friends? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great episode of the podcast that is shaking up the history world. History's gone on for a long time and it needed to happen. I think, I think, do you know what I think the historical, you know, podcast scene industry is? What's that? Old Boys Club. Well, it's it, sewn up. It's sewn up. And you know who's sitting on top of it? Us? Top of the pile? Dan Snow. Dan Snow. And you know what we're doing? Putting the ladder a wee bit. That's we're going, ah, oh, we'll hold the ladder for you, Dan, no worries. And then we're dicking around a little wee bit. Yeah, I like it. Sure. Um, is it a step ladder or like a big ladder? It's a bit, really big, big ladder. One. It's in fact, it's a ladder on a ladder. Have you ever <laughs> seen one of those? We had a window cleaner once at my ma's house who fell off his ladder That's from mental. like the top window and like took the half of my ma and never came back to like work on the house even though he just didn't stop his window cleaner after his injury sealed and I remember as a child being like but it's not my ma's fault that he <laughs> fell off a ladder it's definitely his fault maybe it was she had shaken the ladder yeah I think yeah. that might have been giving it giving him shit telling him to go up and do like some metal window right up the top that nobody even knows about you know um, Skylight yeah. Skylight was it a wee skylight? Oh yeah. I when you said sky, I know what a skylight is, but when you said skylight, I had no idea what a skylight is. I remember I think seeing That's not one, to be fair. I remember no it's not. <laughs> I remember um seeing the skylight for the first time. Yeah. And being blown away by it. I remember when uh, we got one put in my mat's house. I, I lived in that room. Uh I believe living in that room I need uh, a skylight, mother. I, I believe living in that room stunted my growth as an adult. Because you're constantly so standing like that. <laughs> and also pull himself just into a fucking tent, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why do you think it's done sugar? Because it was standing like that all the time. Oh, did it? It had, it, it, yeah. But I imagine not everyone in your house had their own room, so that was the trade off, no? Ever at that point, people would have had their own room, yeah. Because when Kevin McAllister gets sent up to the attic in Home Alone, just have that as your room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Our house wasn't like the Home Alone house. Right. Do you ever wonder what his dad did? I, I say that in memes sometimes. What do you mean, like what, his job? Because yeah. his house is massive. What was he, what was he doing? To you know what he was doing? Having sex. A lot, because he had so many kids. He, yeah, but also probably dealing drugs because, or, or being a lawyer for drug dealers because he had that house on what is apparently a single income, a uh, squad of kids, and finances a whole trip away to fucking Paris or wherever. Mm-hmm. Dealer. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, you catch dealers out in weather like that today. This is where you'll look at a row of houses and there'll be one with no snow on the roof. Because yeah, nice. they've got all those heat lamps in there. Do you know what? Who, who are you? This is so that's where I catch a dealer's out, see if there's no snow on that roof, he's taking drugs. There's, where there's no ice, there's you, ice. You look like a guy at the minute who gives like tips on cat races. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the tipster. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I know a fast a fast pussy when I say one. <laughs> I hate that word. I hate that word so much. I, I fast. think part of the reason we hate <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of all the times we've been hungry. <laughs> I think we hate the word pussy in this country because people say posse. Oh, so yeah. it sounds like posse. You know what's a disgusting? There's one of the Kardashians and something because Chloe was acting at one time when I was Kardashian? in sick. No, my Chloe. Was saying one of these things where, but she was acting with Kardashians going like, and, and said the phrase, something like, you know. Oh, so you guys like, role play? No, no. She was she was telling me this you happened. Being Kanye? She showed me the clip. You being and, Kanye, bro? Oh, here you know it, West. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm like West Belfast. No, no. No. All right, I know. and uh, and <laughs> it's just me, <laughs> me being Kanye. It's just me standing there in a St Mary's GA top, nothing yeah. else. Same political opinions. And um and. Uh, and uh, they're not opinions. And um, <laughs> Annie, he, 
<laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's all, go- it's all gone off. Camera hates it. <laughs> what? Ha- have we lost him, Fosty? Just keep this in. No. People will like this chaos. Camera says hey, no. Hey, you know, you know who didn't like that banter? God. Yeah, yeah. God did oh, not man. like it. Yeesh. So, so Chloe goes, uh, <laughs> one of the Kardashians said that, just was talking about different parts of herself and said something like, my face, my hands, my puss. And I'm like, oh, that phrase. Yeah. So I can't, I can't yeah. cope with it. Look at this, guys. You're getting this live. This is staying in. This is Fosty repairing all. the camera as we go. We're back on. We're looking all good. Karen denounce your, your High epic opinions. would have been if I'd got changed in that time. I do den- I denounce Kanye West and all his empty promises. Uh, okay. It's time for a great episode. This episode is all about Finn McCool. Interesting. Hopefully. Now, Finn McCool is, um, we've got to say going in, this is probably going to be more myth than story. Probably. But as stories go, it's a belter. Right. It's brilliant. Now, let's first Big of all... Big unit. What? Big unit. Finn McCool? Yeah, he was giant. I wonder when they say... Right, go ahead. Okay. What? I wonder, like, you know, he's called a giant, but was he was he just a big dude? Like, was if he was a real man, because of the time that it's from, people might have said he was a giant, but... That's probably the story. He was 6'5", and, like, a, a shithouse door, you know? He was a 6'5", six five, six five, but I, if we're going, if we're sort of getting into the story, I, I, he's 20 foot, right? Let's, okay. let's have, if it's myth, it may as well be all out myth. Right. Right? But first of all, what I want to say is, this is going to center around... The story of Finn McCool, I think, first pops up in a book of poems called called The Fenian Cycle, which sounds like a precursor to the Giro d'Italia. Now, in that... <laughs> have to cycle up a white rock. <laughs> the Fenian Cycle. That's unbelievable. <laughs> um, so it, it's a... It's a selection of stories and some of the stories that apparently were passed on about Finn McCool were written by his son Oshin. Right. Right. Oshin McCool. You know Oshin McCool. Um so we had a PE teacher called Miss McCool in our school. Did you? Yep. And How she, tall was you? She was actually quite short. Uh she'd have been shorter than me. Right. Similar build. Right. <laughs> uh which it was funny. Uh she 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 had like a a, a no nonsense approach to uh to school. She was a PE teacher. Yeah, she was. I know, which is nonsense by its very nature. But she was. She was. She ain't getting the high off her was supply. A, you would say she was a, a disciplinarian, but very nice. Right. But she used to have this phrase, which is which I still say now, because it means everything and nothing all at the same time. What is happening in I here? I know today? these guys. Are f- uh, Can I say also something's off because. Dan was late today. Not late, but Dan was like... He was later than me, Shane. See if we're, about eight seconds. See if we're doing an episode at half nine in the morning. Dan would normally be here at five. But weirdly, <laughs> me and Fosty... <laughs> me and Fosty were working down the cafe near to get our uh, hot drink treats. And Dan drove past us. And that, so that, did I. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. You're, you're getting that, you know, certain religions... Machinery's fallen. I That's don't know it. what's going on, but everybody needs to settle. She, oh, our camera's moved. She used to say, this is disastrous. She used to say, <laughs> she used to say, do your best and your best can do no more. Which means both everything yeah. and absolutely nothing. Do your best and your best can do no more. That's the way she would have said it. We used to Her have voice a, was higher than that. Though. A manager of football who said, lads, the only thing I want is 110%. And there was one guy, every training session, used to always be at my ear when he said that and go, not possible. <laughs> <laughs> right. Finn McCool. Uh, a, a huge, no pun intended, a huge uh, figure in Irish mythology. And is Irish mythology some of the best mythology? We love it, don't we? It's good, like. I, li- I like some of it. G- give, me, give me the... Give me the, the, the Celtic circle. Give me Coo Hollen. You know, I like Coo Well, uh, we can do an episode we'll on do, him because we'll I know we, a lot about him. Yeah. Satanta, as he was known. Good channel. I enjoy that. Um, if you want to watch fucking Scottish Cup games. Um, <laughs> do I not? Yeah. Right, so, so... Yeah, sorry. So we're talking about Irish mythology here. Um, and the story of Finn McCool 
we're we're gonna look at like the story that revolves around the Giants Causeway, but there's loads of myths and stories around him. One of which is that he was a real man that existed that served all different kings in Ireland, uh, like a kind of gun for hire kind of guy. And he also like he was an illegitimate son. Lo he pops up in loads of different stories, but we're gonna focus on the story of him and Bella Donner. Who play for AC Milan in the <laughs> late nineties? We guy Captain Argentina, remember him? <laughs> Did Coke. <laughs> in your head, I want you to picture Bella Donna, who I'm gonna bring up, as having the face of Diego Maradona. <laughs> and also is a Bella Donna, a Bella Donner, it doesn't matter. Every time he walks in somewhere, someone goes, Santa Bella Donna. No. Statue of a family. Santa Woman. Here's Bella Donna. <laughs> We love that song, though. <laughs> no more pain in the sorrow. Here's Bella Donna. So, um, so uh, I think it might be Bella Donna, not Bella. Bella Donna, Bella Donna, or Bella Donna. I mean, Bella Donna. Bella Donna. Or Ben on Donna. Uh, as, in, as in, no, Ben on Donna's porn. As in kebabs. Um, yeah. yeah. So he was. So Finn McCool's this Irish giant. He's the number one premier giant of Ireland, right? He's the main guy. He's the Dan Snow of Irish Giants, right? He's top of the pile, top of the list. There he is, right? Now, it's great. I think what I really love I about, was that, as I was about that picture is, uh, first of all, he's ripped, right? He looks like uh, me. And secondly, I love those trousers. Yeah, they're... I they're, think they're beautiful. That's like something you'd get in uh, Fresh Garbage today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's basically dressed from Fresh Garbage. Yeah, he is. Mm. Now he's uh, he's carrying one of the basalt columns. We'll talk a little bit about, about the Giants Causeway in a second, but I'm painting the picture for Finn McCool as this like feared Irish giant, right? Everyone knows about him in Ireland. Finn McCool's like the main man. He's the giant. Also, not a fan of see all the like Celtic design stuff. I like it. I don't like it. Why? I don't know. Visually, there's just something I don't I don't like about it. it has no beginning, no end. I like that about it. Like your PE teachers. Phrases. <laughs> um, but what do we think? Do we think he looks like a, a SMH here? What's SMH? A sexy McCartney. <laughs> he's also got a brooch on. Never fear a man who's got a brooch. Um, he's got a little purse there as well. CSV purse. Yeah. Yeah, he's got coupons in there and all. <laughs> he's got computers for school. So just... <laughs> Are you going to tell the, there's one, the one story I know about him is the one about the salmon that you tell in that story? The, sa the salmon of knowledge? Yeah. Of course which, I am. Which I, all right, okay. So let me do it. I have my theory on that, if you want it. Of course you do. I think it's do. more to do with a, a tuna that he got on his thumb, if you know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, okay, okay, we'll get to that. There's knowledge. We'll get to that. You can actually see the salmon of knowledge, I'm pretty sure, in some of that design, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Oh. Um, so Finn McCool's a sexy Irish giant. He's very sexy there, isn't he, actually? He um, does look like Mick Hocknell, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, one of the best voices in the game. Does he and holds up. have clean pits? He looks like he does there, but that's not how I picture him. I, that's bet, a, I, I, reckon, he, I reckon a big unit at this time would have smelt like... There's no, there's no ADP yeah. going around these days. Like no. Um, HSB, anyway. historical sweaty bastard. <laughs> so um, we'll focus on the story of him and Ben Adonna, right? Which mm -hmm. is that Finn McCool is the biggest giant in Ireland. Um, Maradona's the most skillful footballer in Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> when two worlds collide. <laughs> he's just faced England in the World Cup. <laughs> Get ready for his biggest challenge yet. <laughs> Across the Irish Sea. <laughs> why, is he, why, is, why is the story being told by a U105 advert guy? <laughs> he's Ireland's number one giant. <laughs> Johnny Hero gets to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a UTV ad guy trailer and a show that's gonna happen. I don't want people being like that's not a good Johnny Hero impression. I'm not trying to do a Johnny uh, Hero impression. I could do it. <laughs> just, go, go. just get all like Frank Mitchell smack it up. That's all you have to do. Oh, we're getting some questions in the day from my uh, wee Reggie. It's so uh, niche, but so good. <laughs> and we've said this before. Everyone who texts in U105 is from where? <laughs> Rosetta. <laughs> it's one street in Belfast. Everyone's from there. Texting. That's amazing. Anyway, oh. um, 
So Ben O'Donnell is is the counterpart of Finn McCool, but in Scotland, right? Um, I think at the narrowest Ireland and Scotland separated by about fourteen miles, right? And the story goes that back then, um, Finn McCool had sorry sorry Ben O'Donnell is the Scottish giant. He's feared in Scotland. Everyone's like you're the fuck, you're the best giant and all this. He's he's like I'm the ruler kind of. The legend is if Finn McCool had built a bridge of basalt columns like we see in the Giants Causeway, mm. and we'll we'll set up the scene of Giants Causeway a bit more after I set this up, but he had built this bridge going from Ireland to Scotland, um, and all this so far is all about like how feared he, he's this giant, he's scary, he's a monster of a man. Apparently he built that so he didn't get his feet wet when he was going across to Scotland. Takes a little bit of the hardness off him, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not allowed to get wet. Yeah, and but I, I have a theory, which is that it, it probably wasn't the water, it's probably the sand. The sand? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because like, he falls into no, it? No, the f- sand just like when he gets the other side, he has all sandy feet. Uh, I don't that's like the worst, that. that's the I worst. That. Yeah. That, ru- that, like, that ruins going to the beach for me. I keep, do you know what I do? Pro tip? Can I tell you a real dad trip tip that I do? I keep a um, uh, carton of milk filled up with water in my boot at all times and then if you're getting in my car after going to the beach sit in the sit in the seat but dangle your feet out pour water over it dry them back in you could just now, do that with a bottle of water you don't need it to be a it milk it has cart. to be milk now Dan you're uh, you're a keen surfer uh, and you're sort of shaking your head at me do you have a theory that's better or a it's just unnecessary why just knock most of the sand off put your socks and shoes on away you go oh. then you have Sandy, sandy socks, feet, sandy Grand. feet inside the sock. I don't like. Can we please just on this podcast start calling tan sandy feet? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I uh, I remember one time Kev. I was on the beach for Kev, and he uh, he filled a pair of my my good vans with uh, wet sand. Right. And I was like, bad etiquette. Dry I, sand, hilarious. Wet sand. Wet sand, mate. Wait, how long? What, what age would you have been? Uh twenty. Dick move. Yeah. From, um, from from normally a guy with great etiquette. Kev, Kev's normally a, a good pass yourself sort of guy. Yeah. But uh, he went too far out there. His shoes were ruined. Because like, <laughs> even when I cleaned them out and stuck yeah. them through the wash, yeah. you were, once the feet of your heat heats them up, right. stank of shit. Right. Nothing to do with this story. But, um, <laughs> so yeah, there was, a, there was a bridge that went across, basically. Sorry, what's that on his, on his other uh, hip? That's a wee, that's a wee, that's a wee sword. It looks like a gingerbread man. It does. It looks like he has a wee, a wee man. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he he was the first guy to do that? Because they just had biscuits and he's, he goes, now we're having gingerbread, man. Yeah. And then, mm, yeah, that won't taste it, you know. No one likes that. And he goes, I say we're having them. You know what I mean? Everybody goes, all right, Finn. Yeah. <laughs> before that, they were Don't just called. Angry. You know what those biscuits were called before that? Just bread, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brunette bread, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said nah 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 the game's changing right so uh, he used to go over with his gingerbread man and his uh, cash for <laughs> cash for schools vouchers uh, computers for schools vouchers and go across to Scotland right um, so he hears about this Scottish giant on the other side called Be- Ben a dollar or whatever the fuck that, I don't care um, people, and I think people are getting in his head Right, being like, ah, oh, you're tall, he's mate, but fed, you know, ah, uh, he's bigger than you. He's know. slobbering about you. He says he's he fingered your ma. Yeah, all this stuff, right? right? So curiosity gets it better. Since you have a wee dick, and all. <laughs> Would it be funny if he was like twenty foot tall and just had a wee pinner? It's <laughs> 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 WP, <laughs> historic wee piece. <laughs> <laughs> So Finn <laughs> McCool takes his takes his gingerbread man his, his wee piece and his uh, cash for schools vouchers and he goes across over to Scotland and what the pl- what the plan is what is, is to, going on I don't know one of these two. you pay peanuts you get monkeys <laughs> so um, so what happens is he goes across and he's looking for Ben O'Donnell right yeah he's going what's happening here and he's dandering around Scotland. And still, like modern day Scotland, like Stranraer, True, and all those places where right. you would get to first, nothing there. Well, there's nothing there now. Look, there's nothing there now. Me and Tony, friend of friend of the team with me. Yeah, uh, he's never been. Oh, in one yeah, of the, he, but he he's hasn't he's been in one of these friend recordings. Of friend of the show. Friend of the show. Um, we went. Tushin. We got the car over 
the ferry over to buy a car <laughs> in Stranraer in Scotland. Right. And I thought, while we're there, we'll Stranraer. go for lunch. Nothing there. I know. Do you know what's shit about it? I, I literally... Whenever I went, I, I went and did, uh, there's no need for me to point at you. When I went to Glasgow last year to do uh, shows around St. Patrick's Day, all I could think of on the other side was someone should build a McDonald's between that fucking, someone should build a McDonald's between the boat and like, is it like Ur or yeah, Motherwell yeah, yeah. or something? Yep. One of those towns. Cause like You're a, right. Like you just you're go, right. you'd make a there's fucking. There's a Starbucks if you're coming from Glasgow to the boat. Mm. But you're right. There should be more. Save, save, save you build a McDonald's or clean up printing money. Yeah, printing money. You should, you should do it. Do you know? Do you know? You actually need quite a lot of money to start a McDonald's. Because I looked million. into it. You need a million pound, which is ludicrous. You would make it back in like the first year if you built it there. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, a McDonald's. You're not making a million in a year. I bet. I bet. Oh yes, you are. Yes, you are. Quarter you're of a million pound a month, no problem. No problem. But not like... See, when I got the ferry over, there's about 20 of us on. During peak times, maybe it's going to be busy. Mate, that ferry's busy all the time. And here... Do, Can do, people do, comment do, below? Can people comment below? Do, do you know what? what do you, do you know what's on that ferry? Up? Screaming children every time... I was about to say every time I'm on it, which is weird. <laughs> but like... <laughs> screaming... When you put your trousers on the fire. No, no, scream, screaming children. Yeah. So you know what they want whenever yeah. they get over the other side of that there. Yeah. Made quiet. That's what they want. They want making quiet. And how do you make kids quiet? Happy Couple. Mates. Um Right. So Finn goes over there on his wee bridge, keep his feet dry. Gets over there with the driest feet you've ever seen. I do feel like we're skipping over quite a lot of the building of the Giants Causeway. Like, what he just. I mean, do you ever see how yeah, long it takes a normal man to fucking put in a new shower? But this isn't a normal man. This is Finn McCool. The mythical do, I want to know where he got the basalt columns from. Look, some nerds would go, uh, was it not like 60 million years ago? Like, was it not volcanic? I know, an, volcanic, an outcrop of some sort of volcanic glacial spillage. movement or Yeah, you shit. go, no. 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 It was a Ginger column. Like third century or something? Whoa. This is. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. We no also, need. have we missed out uh, the Isle of Man bit or is that later? That's later. Okay. That's, a, that's actually at the very end. Cheers, Dan. Um, he fucking ruined it. <laughs> he always does this. He always does this. <laughs> um, so Finn goes over. Fucking sandy feet. And he's... <laughs> 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 so Finn's, Finn's roaming around Scotland. He's thinking, I'd love a McDonald's here, but there's nothing. Yeah. Uh, and he's about to go home. He can't see this guy, Ben O'Donner. Everyone's been filling his head about, you know. Oh, he's bigger than you, you know. Finn's like, not possible. I'll go over here. You know, if I need the if I need the throw hands, the gingerbread hands. man will bail, bail his bollocks in. Uh, as he's about to leave, he notices something on the horizon. He walks over to it, and what it looks like is just like a big, massive pile of leaves, like autumnal dark brown leaves, like a mountain of leaves. But it isn't. It's a beard, and attached to that beard <laughs> is Ben Donner, who's sleeping, and he is. Way bigger than Finn McCool. He is the biggest giant Finn McCool could, you could ever comprehend. Much bigger than Finn McCool. Finn McCool's about to run home and get out of there. But before he does, he does something so petty and sly. He cuts off Ben O'Donnell's beard. Which is a bit like he's going, I'm going to smack him. And all he does yeah. is like ruffle his hair. I'm going to fight this cunt. The guy falls asleep first to the house party, shave his eyebrow. 100%. Yeah, he's an eyebrow stealer. He's a care, he's a care, he's, he he's may as well have filled his vans with wet sand. <laughs> um, Great song by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Fill your vans with wet sand? <laughs> Just wet sand. <laughs> so I think, I think Ben O'Donner, when he wakes up and sees no one there, is going to be raging for two reasons. His beard's gone and a lot of guys who present company accepted who grow beards are doing it to either hide a lot of chin or a distinct lack of a chin. Yeah. Right? So he probably woke up, he was like, oh, he's done. And then he caught himself in the mirror and he looked weird. Right? So. You definitely do look weird when you first shave a beard off. Yeah. I would not know that. Yeah. You just, you look like a thumb. Right. So he goes, so he look. he woke up. Well, looking, I, I do. He woke up looking like a big thumb. Yeah. And everyone's saying to him, 
oh look at what's up with you and all and he goes you who thumb, did that you thummy bastard you big thumb looking bastard <laughs> nobody would have said that right but the, he goes who, who was it who did that and they go a giant ran over from Ireland we saw him he went back across the causeway he had a gingerbread man on him <laughs> yeah and all these <laughs> vouchers for school. he's telling us he can get us a load of laptops for our kids right um, so Ben Adonner HRG <laughs> And he's just over flogging <laughs> Lenovo. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting a lot of Hewlett Packard put into the Falkirk area. <laughs> uh, the original Apple Max, the Macintosh. Oh, really good. So, um, so Ben and Donner fought. He goes, You fucking what? You fucking what? Right? Ripping, right? Fucking. Right? Pissed off. He sprints. Back across the causeway. Here we go. Finn McCool. You know when you've done something and you, you as a kid and you go into your house and you just have to tell your mom you're dad, you're like, Oh, I think I might be in trouble. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He gets ahead of it and he says to his wife, and she's a giant too, but she's not even as big as Finn McCool, but she is a giant. Right? I did it when I I gave I gave off to an adult. <laughs> One day. Well, can I tell a story real quick? So Yeah, real quick. So Used to play because I don't have a lot of film and facts, so the longer you, the better. You used to used to play used to play football in the street, right? Yes. And uh, one time, so so there was a at the at the end of our street. So a hill a hill runs down. Sorry, our street runs this way. Down this way, there's another road, right? So our our ramp, which was our our net, is here, and then there's a road runs down the back of it, right? Right. On the other side of that street. There's a house facing this way. Right. So that house, the front door of that house is essentially facing the back of our net. Right. And they used to park a car sometimes facing down Bastards. that hill. And so, so sometimes their car would get, and I do mean this, lightly hit with a football, right? Yep. But the guy, the old the guy, the old bastard that owned it. Uh, is this pensioner you're talking about? He wouldn't have been a pensioner. He had kids our age, but he was an older dad for sure. But he was a, he was a, he was a, Look, his car was getting hit so far off, but he was he was a bitch about it, right? So sorry, just to set up this this <clears throat> guy has the nerve to want to park his car outside his house. But he cracked up. Listen, he had a driveway that he didn't use to so fuck him right anyway. So he um he cracked up one day about the our our ball going over towards his house, and he walked around some of the houses complaining, and my ma said, right, well you're not going to be part of that. And I wasn't allowed to play football out in the street for a wee while, which is basically like going, "Where's your social life, yeah. Karen?" Because that was uh, can all, I say was, out of order from my Bartlett? It was, it, it was right. Now this went on for maybe literally a couple of months, right? Maybe um, two months. That's and, why you uh, didn't make a pro. Uh, you're telling me, right? So I, uh, I, uh, I went, I went out anyway, I, and and I was playing football then, and my, my dad would have taken me to Falls Park some days, or would have gone and played. What percentage of the way through the story? Are we? Uh, 50 right and, make it 30 and so and so, and so well there were only 30 through no give it 30 left because the right, okay. the scavian right so then we'll, we'll go we'll go uh, I've, I eventually I'm allowed back out on the street because I'm going to say my mum here listen the only thing we do in our fucking streets is play football so you're going to have to let me out on the fucking street you didn't say it like that I didn't say you it didn't say it mummy you're, you're Finn McCool you're, no, you're Finn McCool I'm going to go over and smack him I you see him oh, cut his beard off right, so sh- Mama please I shaved my mom's eyebrows and went you're letting me <laughs> back in that street so went went back into the street and uh, on my fir- on back. my first day out and I was specifically playing shooting into our other net this day he he came out and started mouthing at us mm-hmm. so I'm facing away from his house comes out and he goes and you're the worst one and says I do you know what he said that I I personally broke the catalytic converter on his car. <laughs> That's what he said. You don't have that power in your shop. And I, I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck he just said. <laughs> Roberto <but> Carlos? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure I didn't, right? Yeah. And I and I know that I went. I guess I went, I haven't, been out, I haven't played football in the street for two months, so you can just go, go away, right? I know I said that. Savage. Right? I know I said it because I wanted to say piss off, but I didn't. I just right. went... <gasps> Go away! Yeah. And I gave off, and then I ran in the house. Go, mommy! I shouted at him. Right, right. Because you wanted to get in front of that, because you knew I had that to get out in front of it. Because I knew he's gonna come over. And then I remember, I specifically remember Ma Bartlett going, basically, she she definitely said the phrase, "He's an old woman." Right. See his son. His son used to get called Princess. Okay. Because he was a whoosh. Okay. Um. Thanks for that. Now, 
Finn McCool gets back a bit like you going into Ma Bartlett <coughs> Finn McCool goes back to his wife and we find out pretty quickly here he's married she's the brains of the operation right, okay. I'd say she's a giant too but she's not his height right so he runs into the house and he goes oh I've done something stupid right he knows what he's done he's got this big beard in his hand he goes <laughs> oh he took it with him oh yeah Neither. He goes, I don't know if he took it with him, but I think right. he did. Right? He Big goes, pile of leaves. He goes, oh, I, d- I didn't mean to do it, no. Right? She goes, well, listen, you're going to have to face music. Rap on the door. Oh, I was good like that. That's Ben Adon. Holy shit. Finn McCool's like, oh my God, he's going to kill me, my wife, he's going to take over Ireland, be the, you know, I'm not going to have this hold as the big giant anymore. Yeah. Finn McCool's wife very quickly comes up with a plan. Right here she is. I just took him off real quick, <laughs> <laughs> and she says, "I don't think that's necessary." <laughs> <laughs> it's just Jay, historical suck job. <laughs> BG between giants. Um, right, so um, she says, "I've got a plan." <laughs> Historical suck job is unbelievable. <laughs> now, she at this point was making pancakes, right? And Finn McCool like likes his big pancakes. She's got a skillet going. She's got a big pancake going. But what you she know does when you're is making them at home yourself. You need to commit to losing the first one. Right. First right. pancake never turns out properly. I got that's Rod Stewart, isn't it? First pancake. The first pancake never turns out. Oh, no, first got the deepest. Right. Um, so she's got a skillet going. She fires a load more flour in, a load more milk in, makes this pancake the size of a parasol. Another knock at the door. She goes, Finn, jump in that cot. Right? There's a big cot. Big makeshift cot. She'll get in there, puts a blanket big over him. Big makeshift cot. Puts a blanket over him. She goes, yeah, come in now. She opens the door. Ben Donner's there. I see where this is going. Double the size of Finn McCool. Oh, Jesus. Does she panic? Absolutely not. HSW, historical strong woman. Ben Donner says, right, where's Finn McCool? She goes, he's out hunting at the minute. But he'd be here soon. She goes, come on, I'm making pan- Do you want a pancake? And he goes, he's a fucking big guy. He goes, I'll take a pancake while I wait. Like. Right? Imagine sees- somebody comes around to kick your content and your missus goes, you I'm making homemade pancakes. Yeah. yeah. But this starting to throw him through Ben and Donner off. He's there for a fight, right? Tell you what, I'm calorie counting right now. I see pancakes. This pancake chat, go ahead. It's it's bad for you. Yeah, it's like it's these like, weren't nice pancakes. Or they're all stinking and all. Bet you they were class. They're lovely. Bet you she had maple syrup and all. Oh, of course she did. You got a bacon. Um, so, so he go, he's sitting there all uncomfortable, and then he goes, <laughs> the "Fuck's that in the cot?" She goes, "Oh, that, that's that's our son. That's Finn McCool's son." Benadon- now Ben Adonner's a giant Finn McCool's a little bit smaller But not that much smaller Ben Adonner thinks Fucking hell If that's the size of the son What size is the dad Who's out hunting And yeah. probably coming back soon She goes Do you want a pancake? He goes yeah. She goes These pancakes are from a son When he wakes up He's looking at the biggest pancake He's ever seen Being like This boy's going to be a giant too So he freaks out He goes Oh yeah I'll take a pancake She gives him the pancake But keeps the skillet Underneath it he takes a bite of this pancake, burns a gob of himself, burns a gob of himself. So he's he, he's he's freaking out. This happens to him. He free, he knows Finn McCool's coming home. Can't hack it. He gets out of there. He says, thanks for your hospitality. I'm away here. And he runs back to Scotland as fast as he possibly can because he doesn't want to fight the da of this already yeah, yeah. giant. And as he's running back, he destroys the bridge the behind him it destroys the causeway as he goes now here's a move that we would do because you and me are absolutely not fighters but we would definitely I'm a lover we're lovers how can we be lovers if we can't be friends Finn McCool does a thing where like it's the it's the complete equivalent of you think someone's going to beat you up and then they walk away and you say to your mates thank god I never smacked him and you wouldn't have as he's running away... Thank God he didn't have to murder that cunt. Exactly. Yeah. Finn McCool takes a big rock and throws it at, at the retreating Ben O'Donner. And that rock, Sa- Sandy man. Feet, is... Isle of Man. The Isle of Man. Yes. Here's your question. Is got, the Isle of Man, map. sorry, is the Isle of Man then, is that, did that leave Loch Ness? Loch Ness, yeah. But yeah. look at the map and look at where the Isle of Man is and where 
Like, it's not a great shot. No. That's because he didn't throw it really at him. He didn't really want to hit him. Rathlin actually might not be a bad shot for that. I don't know. Any of those little Scottish islands would be better. Yeah. Like, do you ever see what do you call that one? The, it's named after a woman. What do you call that? Patricia? It's, it's, you see you see, you see, see it on the way to Scotland on like on the boat. It's, oh. What? Isla. Isla. The Isla. Isla Sky? No, like the, the, the Elsa, Elsa, Elsa Craig. It, it's like a big, it looks like a big uh, power spun comes up out of the, well, okay. sometimes you see what you want to oh, see. I know what you're talking about. Yes. You know, on, on your way over and it's like, yeah. just like a big fucking lump. Yep. It could be that, like a big daddy. Uh, it could, yeah. I mean, it could be any, any of those could be that the rock that Finn McCool threw. Yes. Um, yes. But yeah, Ben O'Donnor sure. basically. I, I, I reckon Shetland's just a wee skimmer that he did once. Yeah, you know? he's just practicing. Oh, did you ever skim one? I'm I'm quite a good skimmer. I'm, I'm shit I, at it, but I've done it a couple of times and it's great. I'm not a brilliant stone thrower. I'm all right. Do you know who's brilliant at it? But I'm a good or skimmer. Kev. Okay, I could see him. Kev, or, or da- the two of them can really fuck him, you know, like f- throw stones for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have to meet up and go skimming sometime. I know. I'm I'm 37 sitting here. Well, my brothers can throw stones. Yeah. <laughs> My bro Kevin can do bigger skimmers than your bro. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so that, that and that is allegedly what the Giants Causeway is. It's That's it's the bit of Causeway that was left. Um, I like that though. Uh, basically, the the moral of this story is size matters. Look, yeah, yeah. No, the other moral of this is get your wife to sort it out. <laughs> if 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 you get yourself in a situation you can't get out of, go to your wife and go uh, help, and she will get you out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done it again. Can we get that? Can we get that batter out of the cupboard there? Someone's coming in to beat my fucking. <laughs> you just sitting with a big baby's bonnet on. <laughs> big lolly. Nobody's oh, even coming round. It's just I'm just dressed that way. I'm one of those guys. Oh, I'll have to stick a snappy on. Shane's coming around to beat my bollocks and making pancakes for you. Make a really big one. <laughs> Um, Can I ask though, see on the map? Yes. What are the other Irish myths that are in there? I see a leprechaun, I see St. Patrick. King Arthur, Pendra. Oh, that's not Ireland. What's the bottom one on Ireland? The something beast? The Leinster leprechaun. King Baller. I've never heard of the the questing beast. Well, we could do an episode on it. And what's what's the one above that then? Oh, a banshee. Bunworth. Banshee. Bunworth. Your name, Medieval Times. Bunworth. Bunworth. Um, (laughs) (laughs) All right, (laughs) Bunworth. <laughs> How goes so, it today, Bunworth? <laughs> <laughs> My buns will cost you four groats. Anyway, so what about damn uh, you, Bunworth? <laughs> <laughs> but we pay it because they're delicious. Uh, I've got a couple more things to get through here. Uh, that's kind of the main story. Also, let's not dwell on this, but I'll say this: I think the Giants Causeway is sh- 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 shit. I like it. I think if you've been once. Well, Great. there's no there's no need to go more than once. You look at a What's picture the thing of it at the bottom that's like don't they say there isn't there a thing at the bottom's meant to be there's something about, uh, literally about, cool. about Finn McCool, that big lump. There's a big lump there. And is it is it some story that like he Oh, uh, I'm having like a, a complete breakdown here, but there's something like uh somewhere he used to sit or something near uh, the bottom. Doesn't matter. I could see an Irish American having that as a screensaver on their on their uh, computer. Yeah, I I liked what you said about this when we were getting ready. Where you said somebody will be just selling prints of that. Where was it? Corn uh, market. <laughs> you get that the dark hedges uh, and where else? Marble arch caves. Marble arch caves for a fiver. <laughs> Do you know what? See, in genuine, the reason I said that in Corn Market there used to be a guy who sold posters, and I got that. Uh, <laughs> you got three posters for a fiver, and when I was like. 12, I got the, <laughs> I got an alien sp- smoking a spliff, Dr. Dre, the chronic album poster, and the Man United team photo. <laughs> what an eclectic those, wall. Do you get those, like, a, p- a pencil drawn of different United players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cantona, standing a, like that after scoring against... A Rude Van Nistelrooy oil painting. <laughs> now, um, another story of Finn McCool, because there is lots of them. Um, it, by the way, I think that's a great. St- I love that story about Finn McCool and Bennett Donner. Another one is yes, the Salmon of Knowledge, where um, there was like a magical river and magic Finn- fish. No, no, no. Yes, but in yeah, there was a magical fish in a magical river, and uh, Finn McCool cut his finger, uh, his thumb, and he put his. Th- he, he, he rubbed he the ca- salmon on us. It was something like he ca- he caught the fish, and you're supposed to eat the fish or something 
and when he was when he was cooking it, he burnt his thumb on it, and I think he lost the fish, or the fish fell into the he, fire. He, but he, he sucked, sucked his, his thumb, thumb and got the knowledge anyway. So, so which tells me that it's actually. It's sort of like the Adam and Eve thing, you know, the the classic. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. You know, it wasn't the apple on the tree, it was the pearl on the ground. Right. So that's what got them fucked out. So, 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 so the I myth- reckon Finn McCool, he's been thumbing a salmon, so to speak, and he's been wondering what it tastes like. But then he's he's dropped it into the fire, or it's it's gone away from. Him, but he sucked the salmon. And he still found out. Right. So now he's gone over to his mates and gone. That's your man. Now no? what I'll say is, the myth no? goes that if he wanted, if there was a question he didn't know the answer to, and he wanted the knowledge from the salmon of knowledge, what he had to do was suck his thumb. Which is a cool power to have, but not cool when you're stuck on a crossword and you go, hmm, four up, four down. <laughs> <laughs> also not cool if you're also half dressed as a baby, sitting going, what am I going to do? Yeah, sucking his thumb. You know what I mean, yeah. Um, there's loads, there's, I mean, there's loads and loads of films. Those are the stories. two stories that I really, that I've heard of. But of. Can, I, can I ask something? Can we get a plastic salmon of Amazon or something for the studio? Yes. Can we get the salmon of knowledge here? Because... We have absolutely neglected the Nepalese soy boy. Yeah. He's been neglected. I and he, he needs company. He deserves a, so- a soy girl or at least a fish, but not a Billy Bass, one of Sammy Salmon. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Well, we like a plastic can, salmon. Can you look up, Dan, just quickly? There is there is a thing that, like, they say at the bottom of the hill, you know, the hill at the... I just want to... Nobody gives a fuck I about cur, this hill. I cur history curse. See, this salmon of knowledge, apparently, Finnegus was a famous druid, and he caught the salmon, and Finn McCool was his apprentice, and he stole it. Right. Or when he was cooking it, he tried to grab it, and that's when he burnt his thumb. Uh, but he so it's sort of it's like, like when a, you try to go in there rotisserie chicken for the leg, and you 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 burn yourself and end up sucking the skin off yourself. You know. Nope. Um, I'm looking this up because I I want to know. I I so, genuinely so, so want to know. Finn McCool didn't create the causeway. Who did or what did volcano bro? What about the hexagonal? I know it it is. I I want to ask this. I should know this. People say about the wonders of the world. It, Giants Causeway isn't one of the wonders of the world, is it? No. But people well, say... I know. Is it a UNESCO site? That's but, what oh, I it definitely would be. Anything could be a UNESCO site. To, this fucking studio's a UNESCO site. <laughs> to give them away like nothing. It would have to, yeah, it would have to be one of the natural wonders award and I don't know what they are. Right. Compared to like the Taj Mahal and all. Which oh, are oh, get you, get you. Apparently to do with the molten lava that came up from the volcano when it cools down rapidly, like when it hits the sea... It forms these uniformed shapes. Such it, as it, I'm taking the piss out of Giants Cause, but it actually is unreal. It's just because we were in Port Rush in between Christmas. If for anyone who doesn't know Port Rush, like right beside Giants Causeway. And we were there in between Christmas and New Year. And I was the kids fell asleep in the car. And then I was just driving them around for, so they could have a bit of a nap. And it was like late morning on a weekday. And we drove up near there. And it was like gridlock traffic of just tourists coming in and out. But people love it and people go mad for it. I think it is very cool the first time you see it, but you wouldn't be going monthly. No, you have to see it. Also, it, there's a myth. There's here's a little, Is this a myth or story? People go, see, if you drive in the main entrance, you have to pay. But apparently there's another car there's a, park. Yeah, there's a main car park you have to pay for, but I think there's other places you can just... Because you, you don't have to pay to get onto the causeway. Pay, pay a couple of pounds, like support the local area, you know. Support I the, don't know, man, I'm just su- saying. Support the DUP. <laughs> you know who, who, who? No, no, it's all good. Um, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Um, yeah, can we give a shout out to Una Finn McCool's wife, who sort of is the hero of this story? Una McCool sounds like Tuna. It does. Tuna. Um, yeah, she's definitely the hero of the story. Sucked uh, us thumb that night, didn't they? Should Kieran? Should we make uh, a really bad movie version of this? Of that? Yeah. Only if I can be uh, one of the giants. You're Finn. And could Dave be Ben Adonner? Yeah, that's good. <gasps> yeah. The whole giant thing's interesting because there's loads of other stories about Finn McCool. And he's just like a normal just a guy. He's just guy? a warrior, normal there was... guy. The only story where he is a giant is this Finna, one. the story of Finna or something. I'm just saying a thing that I know about something that I'm I'm definitely <laughs> I'm definitely having like a like a Stroke. An issue. It, it is basically like a stroke. That is what I was going to say. See, see me after being on your phone for 14 minutes. It'll be class when you go, 
Ah, uh, there there is a stone that says a femicule on it. No, but no, but this is this is a this is a thing. There's definitely a story about when he was an old man, and he was sitting at the the causeway. I think he was waiting on somebody, and then I think it's supposed to be that oh, the class the hill down the bottom. You're a wanker. <laughs> the hill down the bottom is supposed to be that he just, just sat there and then he 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 became stone or something like that. <laughs> This is the that this. story takes a quick sharp turn. <laughs> Do you ever just be waiting on somebody <laughs> and into just stone? petrify? You know what I mean, <laughs> Michael? Uh, yeah, fuck it, I can't find it. But somebody told me it when I was at the causeway one time. I brought uh, the causeway is a good place to bring f- like farm people to see. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I brought Americans to it one time. Friend, Here, look friend, at he's like that. Friends of my mate, my mate brought Americans over and then like brought me because I was history dick and we went up and I showed them around that, that area you know I'd say they would have had a great time had I not been there had you not been that there that was the time they're, they're probably jet lagged they want to chill out do you want to know what happened guys uh, you're going to see a rock at some point a little rock at some point uh, the story goes uh, Finn sat on that <laughs> at one point and then what happened buddy he was waiting for his mate that he was stoned <laughs> Was, Thanks, man. Do you know what happened that day? The, the day I took Americans up there was the day that I bought the packet of peanuts that had a rusty nail in the packet of peanuts. And then from that, I received a, a forest feast. Uh, what do you call it? Hump. Like, a, like a hamper. Because they bought me off. And I will be bought off if you, if you send me loads but more But they nuts. bought you off cheap? Oh, here, but it, was, it wasn't. It was about 80 quid's worth of stuff. It was brilliant. If I was you, I'd say I edit. Well... I would say I had the rusty nail. I, sh- I showed them the rusty nail. It was it was bent in the middle and all. It was crazy. After you got home though, what do you mean? Oh, like I got I got home and I sent I sent them pictures of it. But could you not have just stuck a rusty nail in it? And then if you do you could do who, that now and get know, another who, eighty quid. Who would, who would? That's very. Uh, I love that you're like who would who would and you're thinking in your head. I'm, I'm definitely sitting there on what product should I yeah. do that with? You know what I mean? Yeah, something more expensive than peanuts. Like so, Femicul's death. In Irish mythology, he hasn't died. He's in a, cave. a deep slumber, not unlike sort of a King Arthur. In a deep slumber. The horn of the feel. The horn of... Again, just random words. I think it's... If, I think if you blow the horn of feel, might be wrong, three times, he's coming back. So he's it's not, coming not back. unlike the King Arthur, once in future king type thing. Whenever right. Ireland needs their hero most, he will return. We what need him now. What if it's... We need him now. We need him now. We need him now. Get them back in the storm. What about? <laughs> what about? How oh, underwhelmed would he be if that's what he comes back for? <laughs> I, the government are actually on a little bit of a break at the minute. If you could just have a word, you just sort of lift them all, throw them in there, yeah. no pancakes until it's done. The horn of fail. I don't even know what if that he, is. Do you know what the sad thing is? If he came back, he'd just be a, he'd just be a TikToker. Aye. Uh, Big guy problems. Big, big McCool. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> he'd be like, hey, barista have sent me. <laughs> Imagine he was like a motivational guy yeah. on TikTok. <laughs> I've had a war this morning. What well, big cunt in Scotland. That doesn't mean I'm not ready to do business today. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've come over to Scotland to fight a giant. You know what I you know what I'm not? Loving it because there's nowhere to eat. What the hell is that? They've just built the distance <laughs> in McDonald's. It's me standing there with McDonald's franchise. <laughs> loving it. Uh, uh, Dan, any other business? Well, it's the Horn of Fianna or Fianna. the Dord Fian, which will, when blown three times, he will return. Is it? We need, you know what we need to do? You know what the Fianna is now? Paul Quest, we need to find that horn and blow it three times and bring him back. The horn, him the horn of the Fianna? Yeah. Get him on. Sounds good. <laughs> I just, I, I, I can't get past the fact that I've forgotten that, that one bit. It's really annoying me. When you remember about the fucking seat he's sitting on waiting for his mate, tell us, text us. I I, I don't want to go up there for it, but I might phone the visitor centre. Should we phone the visitor centre? Do it now. Just get it done. Oh, oh, sorry. Imagine, sorry, can I just say this? Imagine they solve this. I will... Do we have any other questions for them? uh, Giants Causeway Visitor Um, Centre. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be up a robbery one if they fucking solve this. Swear to God. You have to say it's Kieran Bartlett. No, it don't. You do? No, you do. do. Dr. Kieran Bartlett. Oh, here. Read. Please listen carefully for the following options. To make a booking, please visit our website, www.nationalmuseum.uk. 
If you have a visitor information related inquiry, please yep. press 1. Is it that? If you have a group booking inquiry, press 2. If you have a retail inquiry, press 3. If you have a catering inquiry, press 4. I just do catering. For all other inquiries, please press 4. 5. 5. All other inquiries? Aye. you got to say hello to Kieran Bartlett here. Dr. Kiermark. Number 3807. In the queue? There is no one available to take your Oh, lies. Hang on. Do you know what? I'm going to quickly phone him back and hit one. It'll be the same phone. It might but not be. Please answer. Answer me. Answer me. It's Dr. Kiermark. Good morning, thanks. Cosby for speaking. Hello, uh, my name's uh, Dr. Karen Bartlett. I was just giving you a wee, a wee ring. I wanted to ask, I was at the Giants Causeway before, and somebody told me a story there about, like, there's like a like a boulder or like a mountainy thing down near the causeway, and somebody told me a story, and I think it was a story where it's like Finn McCool became like an old man and like sat there or something. Do you know that story? There's lots of stories at the causeway, so... I know, but there's this specific one, and it's really annoying me because I tried Googling it and I can't find it, but it would mean everything to me if you've heard that specific one where it's like, I think he was waiting on somebody, and like he was an old man, and he became, like he turned into stone or something. Um, right, I'm not the person to speak to. I probably need to get one of the storytellers to give you the right. call back. Right. Are you just wanting to clarify the story? Yeah. Phone or, yeah, yeah. You just can't remember it. Yeah, it. yeah. Right, okay. Um, let me see if one of them's available at the moment. Okay. What's your name, please? Uh, it's Kieran Bartlett. Kieran, won't be a moment. Right, no Kieran, worries, thank thanks. you. I could be. I think I'm getting. I think I'm, I'm getting put through to. You've basically phoned a woman and went, is, tell me a story. Is mute me or have I muted yeah, them? You've muted you. Right, okay. So I'm actually like. Fosty's having a meltdown. I can't believe it. This is. This is, like, see if they actually answer this. You have no idea. I'm being put through to an official storyteller. A <laughs> shanak tea, if you will. Oh, I love it. You know the wee blue fella? <laughs> hello? Hello. Uh, hello, uh, my name's Karen Bartlett. I was just wondering, I, I was at the causeway before, and I heard this story, but I'm I just trying to remember it, because I can't really piece it together, and I tried Googling it, and I'm not sure... I can find it, but somebody said to me that there's like a there's like a big stone sort of like a big uh, nearly like a wee hill down near the causeway. And is there some story where it's supposed to be like Finn McCool was like an old man or he was like waiting there on somebody and then like turned into that stone or something like that? No, the story which to me which you seem to be referencing is Finn McCool's gonna get turned to stone. Right, right. And what um, so what's the what's the crack with that? Well, basically, depending on who you talk to, but locals would tell you that uh, basically being a giant and having the magical powers that he did, uh, that he put a curse in his granny and he turned his granny to stone. Right, and it's that sort of it's like a stony outcrop thing down so, near the causeway. So is it's, it? It's all, where you would see the silhouette figure of granny would be on the stugans. Right. Okay. No worries. Well, thanks very much for clearing that up. I, I knew there was something like that, and I just couldn't think of it. Not a problem. Thanks very much. Cheers. You're welcome, bye. Bye. That guy hates you. He should love me because I'm one of the only people that's ever shown interest in his life. Also, that's nothing like what you said, so I think you're talking shit. <laughs> Old people turn into stone. Finn McCool went and sat down there. He turned a granny to stone. That's not the same thing, Ken. Depending on who you talk to, of course, Dan. The crucial bit was... The crucial bit was... I uh, remember he's waiting for something. He's waiting for someone. <laughs> Was there a great story where someone's waiting for someone? Here, fuck all these. I got my answer. Uh, you didn't. That's and research. A, do you know what that is? That's how you do research. There's a lot of unanswered questions in this, but basically, like, what the fuck are the Stugans? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like. I'll have to phone him back I later. Think, <laughs> I think they're like, they're like a Motown group that work around the North Coast <laughs> area. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Ballantoy every Finn Thursday. Finn McCool the and the Stugans. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, powerful set of chanters they are, the Stugans. Finn McCool and the Stugans. <laughs> What's that sound everyone's listening to? Why, it's Finn McCool and the Stugans. <laughs> Great comedy troupe from up around Don Severick, the Three Stugans. <laughs> 
Oh, I love this podcast so much. Um, that's the first phone call we've made on Mysteries, by the way. That was great. We that's should great do that time. a little bit more. Yeah. Um, well, that was kind of the story of one of the stories of Finn McCool, a story that I really like. Um, people can come up with their own theories. Uh, obviously, pick us, rip us to pieces in the comments, whatever you want to do. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us for this episode of Mysteries. We will be back with another subject. Is it myth? Is it story? You decide.